we have with us two members of our National Women's Inline Hockey Team, the New Zealand Inline Ferns. Anjali Thacker and Hannah Shields, along with the rest of the Ferns, are on a quest to head to the World Championships in Italy this July. Thank you for joining us, ladies. It's really nice yeah. to have you here. Great to have you here. Thank you. First up, I must ask you both, is it true that you both got into hockey because your brothers played? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And do your brothers still play? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Are they at the level that you're at? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's probably stupider than me. <laughs> now look, I'm really curious, Angela, you can answer this for me. You play Ford, you're also the assistant captain of the NZ Inline Ferns, as well as the New Zealand Ice Ferns. What is inline hockey, for those that don't understand it? Uh, I'd say it's quite similar to ice hockey as opposed to field hockey, and it's on rollerblades. You have the same stick as an ice hockey stick, um, but you play on like plastic sport court. Um, in the same similar rank to ice hockey, just yeah, bit just with inline wow. skates. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. sounds cool. I mean, Hannah, both you and Angela started with inline hockey first, didn't you? And then you got into ice hockey as well. Uh, so, what apart from the ice, <laughs> what are the main differences between the two sports? Um, I'd say inline, you have a lot of freedom to do what you want. Um, it's very much about like individual skill, I would say, and like controlling the play rather than ice hockey is sort of like you're always trying to move forward. It's probably a bit more aggressive. Ice hockey can be seriously brutal, can't yes, it? it can. We've seen on telly. I mean, it's a really full on game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What kind of injuries do you come away with? Ooh, I've been pretty lucky. I've not had too many shoulders, but we have like uh, shoulder pads and protection yeah. on our thighs, so it's. You're pretty well protected. Oh, we can see it on, on screen now. So yeah. that, is that ice hockey, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. ice, baby. That's <laughs> ice hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one is harder out of the two? <laughs> we both struggle with ice because really? we started with in line. Yeah, yeah right. the skating's a bit different. So, yeah, the edges on an ice skate sometimes catch us out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I can't even go around a rink properly. I thought it was pretty fancy. <laughs> when we did that challenge a couple of years ago oh, on yeah, the ice, useless, and I managed to turn yes. around once and thought it was very cool um, without holding anything else. I mean, how much time do you put into the sports, both of you? Ooh, uh, a lot. So it's, it's a little bit harder for me because I don't live near a rink. So it's harder to get time um, on rink. So probably about three or four hours a week on the rink and then everything else is off the rink. So yeah. it's not professional, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you both, yeah, but and you both got day jobs, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Uni and work and. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's a pretty full-on commitment to be at this level, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. With both sports. Yeah. So if you can't go, I mean, because most people have one sport that they excel at, not two. Uh, if you can't go to a rink, say Hannah, mm. what do you do? Do you skate down the road with, <laughs> with your hockey stick? <laughs> yeah, just try and find some really nice like bits of road. Uh, in little little supermarket car park. Yeah. Yeah. Hold the stick. Much. Subdivisions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, pretty much just that and uh, go to the gym as much as possible and yeah. Yeah, the offering stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. important when you don't live near a rink. Now you've had quite a bit of touring with this sport, Anjali. You travelled to Europe and the States. Uh, so what would be your career highlight, do you think, so far to date? Ooh. Uh... We won, um, we won bronze in 2013. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a huge achievement for New Zealand. Uh, that was in LA. Uh, we came third behind USA and Canada. So oh, wow. That was, really cool. and that was for inline. That was for inline. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah that was both really cool. the, the ice hockey side of things. Um, the World Championships in Italy this July, tell us a little bit about those. I mean, what are your chances looking like of doing well there? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah so we came sixth last year. Um, in China, so we're hoping to improve on that this yeah. year um, and really try and set ourselves up as well as possible for the Roller World Games, which are the following year, so, yeah. yeah. And would this be perhaps the, one of the biggest competitions you've both played in? Um, Was it on level with the it's other on champs? Par, yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. So Pretty you're going into it confident, yeah. eh? Yeah, 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 definitely. Who is your biggest competition? I guess the Americans are pretty good, but yeah. as you have you said, yeah. yeah, US, Canada. Uh, I feel like Canada's like kind of a like a personal challenge for us because we've played a couple of really close games against them mm. that have been like deciding games, yeah. and we haven't quite pulled through with the win. So, do, do they yeah. do the same thing as you? Like, do they play both in line and ice hockey? Is that normal for them, or is this like a little bit strange? <laughs> Yeah, Canada's and US are huge on ice hockey. They're quite far ahead of us. But with inline, we keep up pretty well, and they do play. Some of the girls play both. Yeah. OK, well, we want to get you to Italy, and I know that you're doing a little bit of fundraising. So you've got a Give a Little page, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. we do. It definitely needs some help. Right. <laughs> how, much, how much money are we talking? How much, how much longer have we got to go? 
to oh, get this money? Yeah, a couple months. Okay, yeah, good. We've got, we've got to fundraise 5,000 each. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay, that's a lot of cakes. You're baking a cake as well. A lot, of sausages, us, yeah. a lot of sausage sizzles. Hey, well, best of luck. <laughs> cool, thank you uh, so much. It sounds really exciting. We're really good to chat to you both. Uh, so we need to get behind our inline ferns and get them to Italy for the World Championships. Check out the Inline Ferns Facebook page for the link to their Give a Little page, as well as for the Auckland USA versus Canada Ticketmaster link as well. Yes, yeah, so if you buy your tickets for that game through their site, then they get a little cut of it, which will help them towards their end goal. So go and do that. Good luck, ladies. Thank you so much. We look much. forward to a full yeah. report when you come back. Awesome, awesome having you. you here.